Uh, g'day, in this episode of Home Robotics, I'll be showing you how to make a Hot Wheels ramp from parts found around the house. Okay, so Nathan, Nathan, say hi. Hi. Nathan's helping me design the ramp, and from there we can cut out the timber and then put it together. Let's see what he's got. Oh, that is so cool. Where does the car start? It's right up there, it goes down, and it goes fly up. It's going to fly up. Yeah, it's going to fly up. Okay, so we have the base drawing of the ramp. We got the uh, main body which holds it. And we have the uh, support legs. And there's a car release. doesn't actually bottom out of the bottom of the loop I'm going to use a template in this case here that. Thomas the Tank tracks work really well okay. so I can use that Goodbye. hold on Nathan okay. so I can use that to make sure that the Hot Wheel cars I'm using do not bottom out in this case here there's just a two mils clearance on either side so I'll be using this as my template for the curve at the bottom of the ramp so we have the two pieces of timber uh, MDF eight mils we're going to glue them together. We've got the basic layout of the ramp cut out. So here we've uh, cut out the ramp, we've glued the top and bottom bit together, just reinforce it temporarily. We cut out one of the legs as an interim support and we'll cut out a few more. And from here we're just going to insert the piers at different intervals and then we'll glue on the track. Cut the piers and we've also cut slots across equal intervals of the ramp. Now we'll just glue these at 90 degree angles and then we'll um, secure the road on top of it. So it's really a struggle doing stuff while the kids are playing with the ramp, isn't it? It looks like my son has other ideas for the piers, so when he's not looking, I'll just take them and uh, glue them back onto the ramp. Okay, so all the uh, piers have been glued. We're just going to wait for it to dry, and then we'll go ahead and secure the ramp onto it. I've temporarily brought these close together, just to make sure the shape is consistent. Uh, the idea is when it's all ready to go, I'll glue one part of the road up to here and then the rest of the road all the way to the top of the ramp. That way I can disconnect and reconnect if required. Alright, so I've secured all the piers with screws and now I'm just going to line that with a thin layer of MDF, which I'm just going to cut out of a spare piece here. Okay, so we're getting close to the end of the day. I've cut out these MDF panels, three mils. I'm gonna glue the first panel to about there. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of water to bend the second panel, clamp it across these last few pillars. 
So I've got the top part of the ramp already glued into place and I've got the second part just secured it with screws temporarily and I've used some clamps just to hold down that curve and it flattens, flattens out about here. And then what I'll do is I'll attach this other side and then I'll just extend the ramp up. <clears throat> second part of the ramp clamped and glued, just gotta wait for that to dry and we'll be good to put the rails on. And while the glue is drying, just want to show you how the piers are all mounted onto the track itself. So this is the end of the second day. We're just prototyping it for now. We just temporarily mounted on one of the Hot Wheels track, just for testing purposes. Uh, Nathan appears to be really excited. Nathan, you want to put a car down the track, please? Set. Go. All right, so I've got a bit of distance there. See, I've now mounted the upwards component to the main ramp, which I can remove at a later stage. From here, we'll take this ramp off. We'll just sand down the surface and make way for two ramps. And it might reinforce the actual piers here. Otherwise, Nathan's happy, I'm happy. Hey, Nathan. Hi. Okay, so we just sanded this down. So we're just gonna paint it, added some extra support here and then later I'll be cutting some more legs. End of day two of the build. Just given a fresh coat of spray paint and I've now added these two Hot Wheels tracks to travel parallel down the ramp and up the top. I might cut these later on just to bring it up to the edge of the rim. And up the top is the car release. At this stage, I think we are mostly complete. I understand there are some gaps in the bottom here for extra legs. What I plan on doing is just do a bit more decoration, put some stickers, probably some LED strips down the middle. But for all intents and purposes, functionally, the ramp is actually complete. We'll just give it a quick test. And I think that's pretty impressive myself. It looks like we got the LEDs working. And then next we'll have to stick them onto the ramp itself in between the two tracks. Wow, so cool working. Can you help me push this down? Can you help me press this, Nathan? Help me push this, push, like this, push. More, more, keep going, good boy, keep going higher. So to make some of the decals for the ramp, I'll just print off one of the logos, I'll cut it out, then I'll just glue it onto the ramp. So there you have it, the ramp is complete now. Um, just quick introduction. So we've got two Hot Wheel tracks that have been stretched and screwed on at different points. This release mechanism is extracted from a, uh, another Hot Wheels toy. Running LED lights down the middle. Nathan's going to demonstrate how it works. Okay, it works. All right, so put the uh, cars at the top. Look at that. Right, and stand behind it. Stand here. Right, ready. There you go. I've ended up reinforcing the legs with some metal brackets. I do not require additional legs. Um, for all intents and purposes, the ramp is complete. And I'll post a copy of the plans on my website at a later stage. Otherwise, there's a really cool trick. You can do some experiments to see how far go, how far uh, some of the cars go. You can put some strips of paper or sandpaper to induce some friction. And the next project from here will be to build a, a ramp which will then collect the cars as they um, land. Do you like the ramp? Yeah. 
Cool. Once again, uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Nathan, move.